is just fantastic. Captain's Log, Subdate 21913.5. With our ship now fully stocked, we're setting course for a new uncharted region of the ocean. Rumor has it, somewhere within that space is all the rum. On YouTube, there is a wing of creators that many of us don't like. I'm sure we have a personal taste in the matter. For me, it's family vloggers. And there's one big glaring reason why. It's not because they like to show us how well they're doing in their lives or how bad they're doing. More ups than downs, of course, because it gets all the sweet, sweet ad money. But actually because of the children, who I, much like many, don't believe should be in front of a camera. But there's another reason. But we'll get to it later. I don't believe those children should be in front of a camera because I think they should be allowed to live a life. If anyone knows the curse of the young actor, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Where invariably someone is raised in front of a camera and eventually they melt, they break, they go through a very public fall. And if they're lucky, they may well pick themselves up. If you're unable to think of anyone off the top of your heads, I will name two. Britney Spears, Amanda Bins, Bynes, Benz, B-Y-N-E-S. There are actually many more. The curse itself can be taken back before that of Different Strokes with Gary Coleman, where the cast from that show hardly had a rip-roaring successful life, but did have a monstrous fall from grace. Even though I am not a parent, I would never want any child to go through that. But yes, of course, when they become adults, they can make the decisions for themselves. Up until that moment, it's a tricky and grey area. So personally, I think the less they have to do with social media, the better. And in before someone says, ah, oh, we can apply that to all the adults now because they're all having aneurysms way too early. You're more than likely correct, but I don't care about the vast majority of adults. I do care that children get to grow up in what many would consider to be a healthy environment. So the other reason I'm not overly keen on family vlog channels or vlog channels themselves is not just because of what they're willing to do to get attention, much of which is clickbaited beyond belief, but also because a considerable amount of it is staged, which is relevant to today, isn't it? Many of you will undoubtedly have seen videos covering this subject already. Now, I waited because I wanted to see if there would be a conclusion to it, and there is. I like stories that have ends. It's so much easier to talk about. When it comes to staged content, it delegitimizes the whole point of a vlog. Vlogs are supposed to be organic after all. How is it organic if you set up skits in the middle? How is it organic if you have to tell people how to feel in each individual shot? That's not a vlog at that point. It is at best, charitably, a soap light. Your own little drama where you can't help but sensationalize an aspect of a story for additional sympathy and or views. So it is with this in mind, we go to the YouTuber Jordan Cheyenne. Cheyenne? I'm not even going to bother, it doesn't matter. You can see it on the social blade here, which we do need. The channel itself had over 536,000 subscribers. It was a tad higher. However, over the course of a number of years, Jordan's channel has been going in decline, which you can see from the views per month, which were never that high to begin with, all the way down to the subscriber count that had in fact been in the negative since May of this year. Now this is relevant, because the channel itself was just some generic vlog channel in its final throes. So of course we all need to do something to stand out, and I would have a whole mountain of content to show you, so as to best demonstrate how truly generic Jordan's content was. Spoken yeah I know with no level of irony being a commentary channel with a cartoon avatar. Thank you to that one person that cannot help but point it out. But as most of the content is now gone, which we'll get to soon, I can't show you how generic she was. But you can see from what you see on the social blade, the channel was not doing that well, especially for somebody with over half a million subscribers. So to stand out, Jordan has to take this to the next level. And to do this, 
we insert a child. Again, I'm not a fan of this aspect, but some people can't help but do it. So what does Jordan do? Well, Jordan does this. Look at me, look at me, look at me, we have to do this, look at me. She's going to be okay. Repeat this, say Rosie is healthy. Look at me, Rosie is healthy. Look at me, Rosie's beautiful. Rosie is strong. She is healthy. She will make it. She will make it. She will make it. It's crazy, no, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that, when you're in the moment, it's still so hard to not feel sad. I'm gonna let you guys go, I need to go be there for Christian. I just wanted to give you an update because so many of you turned on the countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news. Please pray for her. I know she's gonna make it through. She's an amazing, beautiful little girl and I can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. So if you could pray for us, we appreciate it. I love you guys. Come here, come closer for the video, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Come closer down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not just usually crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this, put one hand up, go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. I don't know, I'm actually crying. Which I consider a bit of a dick move, but I'd like to say for the sake of it, I would like to try and fake my surprise that people like this exist. But I won't bother. I will not try to have you imagine my shock, because there is none. Jordan is the type to be so desperate for clout that she'll happily exploit a child for attention. So it's hardly a surprise that she got crap for this one. And just to add as an additional bit of criticism, while we can't equate you to the likes of Daddy O5, the idea of exploiting a child for views, many have argued should be criminal, especially if you're doing it just to make money. Not long after, Jordan released a video called I Am Disappointed In Myself. It is a six minute video where she essentially talks about the puppy, she talks about what happened in the, well, unedited bit of video which just shows how much of a bad editor she is, getting her son, obviously as you've seen in the clip, to pose for a thumbnail. She discusses this and emphatically describes and goes into detail how bad she feels and what transpired. I am putting up this video the minute I can address something. Um, I know a lot of you didn't see it, only some of you saw the video, some of you did not, um, but I just put up a video maybe like 30 minutes ago letting you guys know we were going to announce our big news today. I was letting you know that we got a puppy. Unfortunately, she has parvo, which she contracted before we bought her. In the ending of the video, I was just so emotionally, honestly, completely worn out, emotional, crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, compose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today and so many of you commented about it the first video i uploaded i forgot to edit out like my bloopers so like edited out the ending and so many of you said girl we already saw that we're so disappointed in you in the mom you are like why would you make him pose for a thumbnail but as you can see from the likes dislike the majority of people were hard axing to doubt no doubt because they wanted to give her a piece of their mind but she turned comments off now i said this story has an end to it and it does You'll have noticed from the initial Social Blade image, there were 473 uploads to this channel. Now, there are zero. In fact, there's no channel. There's no channel. There's no Instagram. In fact, the Instagram itself links to another Instagram entirely. This facial expression couldn't be any more appropriate, could it? Now, this is called Scorched Earth. It's where you've cocked up on such a level that you've had to go bury your face and the rest of you essentially under the sand in the hopes that nobody will talk to you about you and this will simply dust over. But as your channel was dying anyway, it's hardly a surprise that you needed an out and you have been given one through your own bad parenting. Oh, and I do recall seeing a little video of all your Instagram stories before you yeeted your Instagram where you started off talking about Yes, sensibly, I made a bad decision. Then pity, pity me, cry, 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 anger, anger, anger. The stages of grief couldn't be any more appropriate. Is learn and grow and make amazing decisions in the future for myself and the well-being of Christian. So that is why my DMs are off for today. I want to say, and I don't want to 
fucking come on here crying or act like I want sympathy or anything. I don't want any of that. I'm so disappointed in myself. I have never been this upset with myself or disappointed or had this much anxiety over people messaging me and things about Christian that are so past the level of cyberbullying and harassment than I've ever experienced in my life. I'm taking the day, two days, three days, whatever, off social media to prioritize myself and Christian. And I am being in as hard as possible on myself and dealing with this in private. And that is why my comments are off. My view on the fact that she's gone scorched earth and left the internet is good. Focus on being a good parent. Don't drag your son onto social media. Look after your puppy. Give your son the upbringing he deserves. If you do come back to YouTube at any point or any other social media platform because you think things have blown over just enough, I hope you've learned not just a valuable lesson, but you don't exploit your child for attention. The merit of your work should stand on its own, and I firmly believe hard work pays off. Apparently, it did for you for a certain amount of time, and then you just gave up anyway and things started to go down. And when it did, and you were given an out that you might struggle to come back from, you took it.